Where's the Willy Wonka horror movie? Is that the newest one that came out? The Chalamet one? Wonka, Wonka never changes. What does he what doesn't he ever change, Scruffy? What has he been wearing this whole time? <laughs> I think we all know. He's been wearing Gonzo from the the Christmas Carol, the Muppets Christmas Carol. He's been wearing that this whole time. He stole Gonzo's drip. No one can debate this. Oh. I don't know if, like, okay, no. This is more important. Hold on. Hold on. I'm bringing it on screen. Hold on. I'm sorry, people who... This is gonna make the, uh... The Fall 3 episode experience not... It's not gonna... It's, it's gonna be a... Less of a coherent connection, but we're... We have something important to bring up. <laughs> uh... Gonzo definitely wore it better. <laughs> Timothy Shalom. People think Timothy Shalom's Wonka stole the look from the Muppets. This is awful. This is so sad. I, I cry every time. Ah, uh, save. Desktop. Look at this shit. Over this music, too. Stole his entire fit. Egregious. Egregious. This Someone has to answer for this. Robbed. <laughs> like, there's no doubt. Look at this shit. <laughs> From the most beloved movie ever. Do you think we really wouldn't have no noticed this? That he just, like... Ooh, he just, like... Just pilfered. Pilfered the look of our man. Ugh. Can't look at that anymore. I have to play Fallout to feel better now. <laughs> uh, if I... There we go. The Rizzler gadded. Thank you, Maple. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Jimothy Chalamet thinks he can get away with every anything because he's hot. It's true, punk. Thinks that... He really thinks he's the main character here, but no. The main character here is... As we all know... Oh, I'm not playing with, with, play this with mouse and keyboard. As you all know, the main character here is Styrofoam Raccoon. Remember. Remember, your, remember Timothy. This raccoon's out here. And he's he's got his... He's got his dukes up and no under... No, no clothes on. Oh. I I I I need a breather. This is uh. <laughs> Ooh, I I I can't. I can't do this anymore. This is this is getting to me. Still thinking about the still thinking about the Muppets thing. Anyway, um Fallout, hey, hi. Um I had a whole list of things I want to do actually. I had a whole window of like tabs of little quests I want to get done because I was getting excited thinking about playing more Fallout hmm let's see if we can go to this location um it's comparing it to the map okay sorry it was like frozen for a sec oh keep pressing console commands um there. It's generally there. So we have a landmark that's not too far away. Is there any are there any perks for mewing? There should be. I mean there there's perks for mewing in general, but I don't know if it'd fall out. Oh right, I'm still nude. Also let's uh that would be ninety, thank you. Guess we should wear clothes. It's YouTube after all. Nope. 
I think that's where I want to be. Beverly Hills. Rolling like a celebrity. It's okay if I lose subscriber for that. I understand. Oh, hi. Uh, Bethesda, you should lose subscriber for this. What's going on here? Okay. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you. Um. Okay. Oh, I can't even get out of it this way. I have to come go back the way I came. Okay. Well, that was fun. Um. Yeah, I didn't do Republic of Dave yet. I still want to. Trying to get the survivalist's rifle. I think that's the name of it. There's this one guy in like a church who's uh has a really good sniper that's unique. I wanna hit him up. So that's where we're going right now. It's also continuing a quest line I wanna get a few pieces for. It's the quest line where you need to get the five uh hollow tapes. Oh. Um it's probably a random encounter of this dog. Sorry to turn you into uh, fractions. Didn't mean to do any math today. Oh, you can go in this thing. Really? What? Okay. Nice little unique location, I guess. Can I? Oh, I can. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I remember that now. It was a setup. Oh. Are those the talent company guys? I think that's who that is. Oh. <laughs> uh, ow. Ow, my, my foot sees. Ow. I do like your comment earlier about Timothy Chalamet. You're saying, uh, any criticism, he just points at his jawline. Okay, Scruffy, you're gonna lurk while you shower and moisturize. Ooh. Got a great shot. Great shot at my tootsies. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, oh no! God damn, the AI in this is way better than Starfield. That's really bad if the AI in. Fault uh, 3 is better than your current game. There's a real epic fight here. <laughs> By the way, I'm using stim packs because I have uh, I have a hot bar for them now. Oh, hello. What? Are two... Oh, it's just a raider. Whoa, there's a lot over here. Okay. Oh, great. Wow. Good aim. Starfield had a major update. I wonder what it's like. I think I remember hearing about that. Oh. Or seeing that somewhere. Oh my god. Take it off. Take it off. Everybody take it off. There's this one Kesha song like keep making a reference to and I don't think anyone has noticed. I think that's a travesty. <laughs> I look up the name of it. <laughs> It's literally take it off. I'm making references to take it off for the last like month, and I don't think anyone like it, w it wasn't just what I said. I was saying like the I say what lyric have I been quoting? There's a hole in the wall. It's a dirty free for all. I've been referencing referencing that every so often, and no one notices, and it's okay. It's just I'm I guess I know I'm more of a Kesha fan than most people. <laughs> I haven't heard any Kesha song in like 10 years. Well, th those are the ones I like, the ones that are 10 years old. 
Those are my favorite Kesha songs. That are like a decade decade away from us. That's when I used to listen to them anyway. Maybe it's just nostalgia. Or maybe it's Maybelline. Oh, zero? Okay. Or one. Rip. Yeah, repairing equipment when a guy's shooting you. Fortnite skills. Don't kill me. Nope, too late. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Nothing, uh, nothing rude about what I just did there, right? I don't want to come off as rude, but... Oh, I dropped something important. Fuck. No! Okay, remember to pick that up. I don't think what I did back there could be considered rude. Rude. I rude the day. Well, we have the... That one gun now, so just upgrade the hell out of energy weapon. Level 14. Just comparing these things. Snipper. Oh, that's a quest I really want to do. The one where you talk to all the traders. The caravanners. Oh, I really want that perk, too. I need better perception by one. I need the perception bottlehead. Bo bobblehead. But that's it in two levels. So that's a thing we need to get a hold of. Tag, you just get 15 points to one skill. The hell. Oh, I think Cyborg is one I definitely wanted. Because it gives you 10 damage resistance, poison resistance, and radiation resistance. Plus 10 en energy weapon, which is exactly what I wanted, so... Perfect. The Animantium Skeleton is pretty nice. Might do that one. Chemist, nah. Usually can buy most of the chems I want. Duration doesn't matter much. Cyborg is like a no-brainer. Just like all the commercials I like. It's a no-brainer. I feel like that's a concept that gets brought up a lot in commercials. That they're all like... Like, you know, <laughs> this thing, yeah, uh, it's a no-brainer. This, um, think again, no-brainer. Like, I feel like there's multiple commercials that have gone down that route of, like, just referencing how something is, in quotes, a no-brainer. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what's the obsession with the, uh, in marketing with this phrase. It's, like, just a thing everyone understands already, so. It's like if you say schadenfreude, it's like, Okay, well, do I have to explain what that means, or are you one of the people that knows what that means? So. <laughs> to be fair, your pathfinding looked like you were retreating with me putting a shotgun in your face, and that would have been, like, fun AI. It's more than A star pathfinding right there. No banner could be pretty subjective. Um, I'm forgetting what the opposite of subje so subjective is. Oh, objective, right? Yeah, I think it. Yeah, it makes sense. That's subjective. Investing 401k can be a no-brainer in the same way as me drinking this glowing neon pink juice I found in the alley. It's also a no-brainer. I see. That can be applied to so many things. Oh. Got one more friend left. Oh, wow. He fucking... Fucking threw that. Oh my gosh. That was actually really well placed. So 
feeling pretty confident in those two fights for some reason. I don't know, they, they kind of came at me with lead pipes. Something about shotguns and lead pipes led me to think that it was kind of a no-brainer. Oh, got lots of sinew here, very nice. <laughs> what a, what a horrid word, sinew. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> we were talk yeah, we were talking about DLCs the other night. Uh, no, yeah, the pit is better than Mothership, Mothership Zeta, in my opinion, too. And the pit takes, like, two minutes to complete. I know I can, like, do the whole pit with, uh... In one stream, probably. Oh, yeah, we're back on track now. I want to, like go to this cat this uh, little shack place but then you know what happened <laughs> do you think anyone could say his fall through their favorite fallout game oh my god maple you've you've kicked the hornet's nest Riku considers fall through their favorite uh fallout game I think fall three is pretty good I think I like Fallout New Vegas more, though, still, but, yeah. Why? Why not New Vegas or Fallout 4? <laughs> oh, no, punk. I hope you get the Phasmophobia team on your house. Hopefully. Real soon. Looking for a church. Oh, hello. Okay. Um... Okay. Okay, that almost killed me, but it worked out fine. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I love encountering one of those. It's so funny every time. I, I need to make a compilation of all the Yao Guais I blow up, because I always, except once, just so I could see if it was, like, necessary to use the bio caps or not. Every other time besides the one time where I didn't, I've used bottle caps, and it's always been a glorious one-hit kill. I was so happy with that. Oh. It's another one. We got a live one here. Wait, there's two of them, I think. Yeah. One. Two. Yep. <laughs> Simple. Just throw mine and move backwards. I love this game. I have so much Yao Guai meat I'm holding on to now. Oh, and also, I have- I've been, like, hoarding a bunch of Myrlurk meat. Um, and apparently there's, like, no reason for me to. <laughs> Should have realized that a while ago. So, uh, I'm gonna start eating that next time I get back home. Mm-mm. We're having soft shell Myrlurk tonight. Sounds very spooky, punk. Okay, I'm pretty sure this place has a schematic for me. If I'm not mistaken. If it does, that'll be great. I think it's the schematic I need that I've been needing forever. Which is the dart gun. The dart gun is a very fun item in this game. Might be wrong, though. Might not be here. Scrap. Nice, nice. Also, if there was an item there to make the dart gun. Not the schematic, though. Oh, God. That that gave me a jump scare. I'm not joking. <laughs> this this piece of... This uh, fluorescent light <laughs> thing jump scared me. Just I saw it so close in my field of view. Yeah, the dart gun is key for killing death claws. Have you played through uh, Fallout New uh, Fallout Three, Maple? Just making sure you uh, want to see your opinion on it. 
having played it or not. I know you're imp not too partial to it, as it seems. Uh, projection. Yeah, we'll, we'll start with the IONs. Just watch enough video essays <laughs> that have lived three lifetimes in this game. <laughs> Was one of the video essays, uh, is this bad? <laughs> Fallout 3. <laughs> I was talking about this one video essay that was pissing me off the other day, where it was like, I think it was released, a, uh, like a year ago or whatever, and the thumbnail is just like Polly from Sopranos, with his, <laughs> overimposed on like, the shrugging guy meme, and it was just like, it all it said was Fallout 3, is this bad? <laughs> just watching it, it wasn't, it wasn't even like a review, it was more like, like, he was just showing clips and explaining the clips that he sh showed, even though the clips are pretty self-explanatory. It's so whatever. I had a whole rant about it last time. We're not gamer ranting again. We're going with procession. Damn it. <laughs> okay, it, that just canceled out all the ION endings, though. T-I-O-Ns. So that's good. So it's probably I-N-G. Concerning. It's not concerning ape. Okay, that's even more information. Yeah, okay. So it's probably, yeah, adrenaline or... I think it's adrenaline. I think it's I-N is the only word that letters that are the same. Probably adrenaline. It's adrenaline. Got him. If I'm dyslexic, I am. And that word wasn't adrenaline. I somehow still knew it well enough to get it right, so... That's just proof that, it, you know, we're out here and we're still making things work. <laughs> that statement can be applied to a lot of things. I just sworn there'd be the schematics for it. It's fine. It's not here. Okay. Oh god, of course. Every time. <laughs> time to make the great decision to go into one of these places. Okay, this guy's rocking a lead pipe. I'm gonna be fine. The gunplay in this game is atrocious compared to Fallout New Vegas, though. I love the gunplay in New Vegas a lot more. It's like a nice balance between uh, Fallout 4 and Fallout 3. Because you actually get the iron sights for all the guns. But you, uh... But it's not fully just a gun game at that point. It still feels like an RPG in New Vegas. I think I like the location a lot in Fallout 3, though. Something about the waste, the capital wasteland feels fun. But I guess maybe... <laughs> maybe if you're, like, anti-patriot... Patriotism? Patriot... Fuck. If you're anti-patriotic toward uh, a lot of American stuff, then I can see this being, like, really not appealing. <laughs> I'm saying I'm that pro-patriotic stuff, but I can... I can look at it and find it entertaining. Like the lore in Fallout, I've mentioned this before, but there's some really clever TTRPG ideas you can do with Fallout world building. Yeah. I like that as a, I like the idea of using Fallout 3's or Fallout setting as a world building for TTRPGs. Let us not forget the My Little Pony Fallout universe. Lest not forget. Yeah, the lead pipe guy, poor guy, having to run in with the lead pipe. His boss must have hated him. Good point. Okay, love item management. It's our favorite thing. 
I find item, item management very fun. But I'm sure the audience find it, finds it just as fun as I do. Especially to watch. Okay. Yep. Just cleaned them. Dry cleanered them. Okay, let's uh let's find out again where we're supposed to go. Oh yeah, I'm I'm off track. Um Fuck. Okay, saving. So Yeah. Oh, I see where it is now. It's the chapel. Okay. So, I'm looking for... Yeah, it's like right here. It's not that off. The only thing I was off about was where it's located. I kept going the wrong way. It's more and more out of the way. Wait, this thing doesn't have 12 shots, does it really? It does. Okay. I see a downfall of this thing. Oh, hello. I just want to get this location. Oh. Where are they fighting? Oh. Nice. Oh, I get none of the credit? Okay. Well. Oh, hi. Whoa. Poor guy. Okay, we got the location. We're out of here. Ooh, a little shack. Here's a little shack I wrote. Might want to sing it note for note. Who lives here? Oh, these are outcasts, aren't they? Yep. Okay. I don't want to deal with you guys either. It's fine. Oh! Fish kebab schematic, hey! A treat! Schematic hunting, after all. I was schematic hunting either way, so... Lucky us. Saw this Nuka Cola Quantum sitting up here. Can I even get it normally? <laughs> Just like hopping up. How does... I mean, I can... I know how I'm gonna get it, but... I wonder how most people get this, if they can. They probably have to, like, shoot it down. How the game intended. Operation Anchorage is a very annoying DLC to play. <laughs> I just want to shoot those outcasts. I'll bring back their armor to their guy for the quest. Am I getting close to the Enclave location? Oh, hello again. Hey, local, shouldn't you be banging rocks together or something? Oh, I guess this might be we're close to a, an, an outcast thing, maybe. All well, these outcast guys slinking around. Oh, God. Robot. Darn robot. I was channeling my Zoidberg for that. Darn robots. Can I get this location, please? No? Very hard. Bomb storage? Okay. This is like a quest location, I guess. My goodness. Maybe it's like a big, like, deal location. Um. Bomb storage that, that seems end of gamey. You know, there's a lot of locations that just jam toward the top of the map for the end of the game. Hello. So many robots. They go ribbit. These robots. Robi. It's a 
miss anything. <laughs> is this the, like the warhead silo exit? Yeah. Want to check out this little ramp though? See what's going on here. These guys aren't much an issue. Oh god. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, I hear like a Mr. Gusty thing. I feel bad for the brain robots, the robo brains. I feel like they can't help what they're doing. It's like their brain's being used as a processor almost. Oh, hello. Sounds like, uh... Goodbye. She sounds like modern, uh, FNAF-like characters. Where are you hiding? It's like, always a very positive, womanly vo motherly voice. <laughs> Please believe me when I say I love you. <laughs> I know Robo Brain would love me. Robo Brain would treat you right. Just like the Bendy character from from uh, Poppy's Playtime, whatever that that one Bendy girl is. That's not the the character Bendy from another series. Lots to scavenge. Excuse me. Thank you for the bobby pin. I have a lot of scrap for more stim packs, it's true. I also have a lot of sensor modules. Which also trade for stims. I'm already sitting on like still like over a hundred stims. What is going on? My legs aren't broken. Oh, great, I didn't... What? Okay. A lot of wonky things are going on. Gotta save. Hopefully to stop the wonkiness. Okay. <laughs> nice generator in the middle of your lobby. Okay. Oh, there's a lot more area, actually. Did not expect that. A lot more areola. Banned off YouTube. Not a lot to discuss those. Um. Uh. We're making it work, folks. I know I use a lot of console commands, but I'm still not going to use the one that I probably should use that gives you infinite weight. Because I know this... The whole stream wants me to play this game as legitimately as possible. It's very important for this run. And I would never use console commands. Not once. Oh. Just use console commands to open this door. There we go.
Oh. Got a melee skill book. When are they gonna start... When are they gonna make Mario Kart melee? They made Smash melee. I'm the only one asking the important questions. Nintendo won't write me back. Hmm. Oh god. <laughs> Maple says, literally every character in Mario Kart is currently in Smash Bros. If there's a character in his, or is this trophy? Well, yeah, but not all of them are there with their with their Mario Karts. When are they gonna add like the Mario Kart version of all of them, where you, <laughs> you somehow have to? It's like just one character, but you can select every single Mario Kart character through them, and they use their car. I know that's essentially. What I'm describing there is essentially the Koopa Kids, but... <laughs> what about Rose Gold Peach, huh? There. I said it. I said the thing no one wanted to address. Oh, right. Nice sap. Yep, yep. Dropping all my junk. I think I mentioned this last stream or a couple streams ago, but I could have been saving all the wonder glue I've been picking up. I decided I don't need to... I don't... Well, in Fallout 3, or in Fallout 4, you definitely want to keep all the wonder glue you find. That's like the most important crafting material. Adhesives. But, uh, in this game, the only use for wonder glue... I said, oh, there's, there's one other use. You can use it in making, a. Uh, the death claw uh weapon but the um the other use for <laughs> wonder glue in this game is you can combine it with mole rat meat to make like wonder mole rat mo wonder mole rat meat from this one like object in the game this one like device you interact with it and you can make <laughs> this mole rat meat covered in in glue and apparently that that like that heals more than just regular mole rat meat so Fun, fun little facts. You can do that with it. Okay, well, everything here, like, ends with ED. Oh, almost. Let's try inserted. Let's try inserting. Oh my god, that's so close. Yeah, plant starch and fallout 4 for adhesive. That's a big, it's a big hack for that. I remember that back in the day. It's infected. Nice. I'm sorry, it's infected. Just deactivate. Cool. Oh. System information. Okay. Whoa. Oh, we're fully looped around, I guess. What turrets? Uh, oh, I think the robots probably shot at the turrets. Shot them out. So that's why I didn't see any. Oh well. Um, this is a nice little diversion. Let's never come here again. <laughs> this was nice. I want to leave forever. Oh, and I discovered it right now. Great. Oh my god. Ew, is that a robot? Ew. Has a brain? Ew. 
I'm sorry, I'm, I'm referencing Slang Maple and me were watching the other night. This one, uh... This one streamer type we were watching just kept saying ew to everything. Rightfully so, it's mostly ew to men. Lol, Rin. <laughs> Which, fair. Honestly, fair. Based, even. Love Rin Queen. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> so funny how much she said you to, like, a as a reaction to anything. Someone lives here? This, this bed is owned? By who? Were the robots living here? Vodka and cram is all you need. I'll survive the winter off of vodka and cram. Fast as fuck. feel like I'm in like a VR game where I have to like enter a room then like you know get the lay of my surroundings and then continue <laughs> aw vodka and cranberry juice it's a common el elixir fuck <laughs> my dyslexia vodka and cranberry juice is a common man's <laughs> elixir of life yes it is that's a cosmo is the, the Cosmo Man's elixir of life. Also, yeah, that was a very lovely backyard. Mm. Cranberry juice makes a very good mixer, I will say. Wow, this place is heavily irradiated. Let me stand here for a while. Is that a bathroom joke? The bathroom was irradiated like that? Oh my gosh, there's a bobblehead. I have vibrating... Uh, wind rustling. Oh, well... Dang. It's a pretty fruitful endeavor. Big guns bobblehead, nice. I'll never really need that one, but that's fine. <laughs> well, just working out my clicking finger. Uh okay, can't move that. Oh that thing is cemented, even if I run into it. Normally it's like one of the most havocy engine objects in the game. The like thin barrels. Oh well. Hehe. <laughs> oh, you got the launch codes. Oh, did I? That's what I picked up? That's funny. Yeah, launch codes. Nice. Shish kebab. Find Styrofoam Raccoon and show how we treat people that fail to live up to Mr. Pentenny's expectations. Do not fail me. You know what happens if you if you arouse my displeasure. <laughs> Ooh. It's a very horny way of saying that, Tenpenny. You old salty dog. You old shriveled up prune of a man. <laughs> Not wow, really parkouring this one. Ah, the lovely crickets. Crickets are out this time of year. Not currently, like in real life, but that's a Yaogwai. Yep. 
I think I see two Yao Guais, meaning... Uh, we need some... Some of these. Yep. <laughs> Works so well. Yummy. Yagwai meat is really useful too. Gives you 10 extra percent damage. Which I think you can probably stack with Psycho to give yourself like 35% damage. Should have eaten Yagwai meat and then put down a bomb. Yeah, there's more? So many. Oh, dang, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna run out. I have enough to take care of one. Look at me walking around the wasteland with my lunchbox. Oh. Good. Okay, the other one might not notice me. Save. Shave. One might be stuck in the ground here. Oh, there's a rad scorpion. Oh no, there's just a rad scorpion over there too. Hopefully they deal with the Yao Guai. Oh, hey, what's this? Oh, it's nothing. Just nothing. Nothing but net. Okay. I do appreciate that one perk that Riku was heavily implying I should get. The one that uh gives you more damage against insects. It's coming in more useful than I thought it would. Oh. It's coming in handy. I did choose those words carefully. Finally, I'm using, I have a reason to use those 800 bullets I've been hoarding. So many locations I can discover around here. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. pretty easy to get these guys to bait certain attacks, so they have to switch, switch up which weapon they're using. Giving you time to uh, attack. Oh, there's the, there's the chapel I've been looking for. Oh, uh, guess I'll kill this guy first and then... are coming up squint house <laughs> mini metal box nope nothing so many explosions that happen in this game so many like distance explosions so many Nathan explosions Okay. Well, we're finally at the end of our little mission here. Oh. Great. Uh. Shoot. So I got messed up. Fallout 3, when I'm like scrolling through stuff, sometimes it scrolls the chat that I have open. Very annoying.
Very salty about that, actually. Not cool. It's one of these for once. Oh great, both of those missed. Oh my god. Damn it. Damn it. He was actually saving me for a sec. So I'm shooting at the Mr. Gusty. Oh my god, he's so accurate. It's a sniper after all. Annoying fight. Oh hell yeah! Never mind. Got critical strike on him. Oh, he's one more peg. Last peg, Leon. When I say peg, Leon, I mean pangolin. That's a weird word I have that I confuse it with. There we go. Oh my god. Oh no, that's not good. Um, that's not good. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> I need to grab his corpse as soon as I can. Spider-Man. <laughs> Slender-Man. <laughs> no, even worse. Grabbing him. Come on. I'm, I'm, come on. I'm trying to press E. Please. Slender-Man. <laughs> this is great. Come on. Come on. Please. Like Grasshopper Man, you. I don't think we're gonna get him like this. He, he might have dropped the gun, but uh, we can just reload. Oh. Oh. Is this part of him? No. Well, um... Well, that was interesting. Greed. Let's save here, maybe. Good. So many stim packs. We'll be fine. Okay. Still haven't visited. I still haven't visited Agatha, who has a better upgrade to this gun. Speaking of which, I never actually. I never um. Did the little schoolhouse that's near. Near the intro area. And I recall that because there we go. Okay, that looked a lot less more natural. <laughs> Agatha, we need to give her music sheets. And in that school, there's like a music book that you usually get early on. And if you don't go to Agatha, you're like, well, where do I use this music sheet for half of the game? Yeah, that was a much better drop. Rest in peace. Ooh, whiskey. This man knew it was up. This man knew how to party. Uh. There. Oh, wow. Let's see. 74. We can do better. Seventy five. Nice. Oh, it only has three shots, though. The downside. Kind of a downgrade. Fuck it, I need the space. Let's 
Looks like we are going to take a trip back to Megaton real soon. Yeah, there is another unique sniper. That's right. Oh, great. More items. Just my luck. Um. No? Okay. Nothing else? Ooh, stim pack, actually. Okay, that's way too hidden. I, don't, I can't even move this box. It's pretty cheap, Bethesda. Unmarked location shack. That sounds about right. Did I pick up something heavy from that? Feels like I did. From how I'm walking. I kind of didn't look what I was picking up. And here... Um, isn't the thing I was looking for? What? Okay, we're gonna have to... Um... I'm double-checking. Where is that? Oh! No, this isn't where that place is. I want to go to the pylon shack. Oh, that's totally not where at all where I was wanted to go, but that's fine. I wanted to get that rifle from it from him anyway, because that's just a little unique rifle. Um. Yeah. Good. We have a bunch of the map up here now mapped out. That's gonna be useful for any sort of quest we want to do in this area. We have a bunch of this area mapped out. We have a bunch of this area mapped out now. I just need this quadrant and a lot of this area. It's haven't been the Tenpenny Tower. Oh boy, there's going to be a ton of NPCs to talk to there. Get excited. Let's see what their o Oasis coordinates were. Okay. We're going home, Chewy. <sighs> I love when the pit boy gets like this. Good morning, sir. What can I? Nope. No time for a drink. Oh, am I bobblehead? Yeah, I'm taking those out. Sure. I have an Oasis Village robe and now an Oasis Druid hood. Very Oasis build over here. No one could have expected me saying that next. I've been so pilled lately. All I can talk about is pills. I've been pilk pilled. And ponk pilled, to be fair. Pills here. <laughs> Grabbing peels. All this Mirelurk meat I'm just sitting on for no reason now. Because I really didn't need to. I thought maybe there was a reason to hold on to it, but nope, there really isn't. Okay, Moira, guess what? Got some splaining to do. Then I can put away the bear charm. Still get the perks from it. Bear Charm gave me 10 plus 10 to speaking, to speech. Clearly not. <laughs> or else I wouldn't have tripped over that. Mm. 
no big surprise. <laughs> oh, they're trying. Oh, they're trying. Damn it. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you. Thank you for the one water. This is why I'm a good boy, just so I can get the occasional one water. Moira. Is it there? Are there books? Oh, can I go borrow some? Get free sugar bombs if you do that one. That's if you get the pre-war decorations. That's fun. It's really worth risking my life over a bunch of books. I would say so. Places like that store the collected knowledge of the entire human race. How we began, how we lived, and how we died. Knowledge overwhelming. And how we fucked. So I'd have to say, and please, <laughs> Sorry. please don't take this the wrong way. Yes, it is worth risking your life over those books. I mean, no offense. For Mara, for you. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. You know, I. I <laughs> just finished work to hear that. Good timing. <laughs> uh, we're we're like cleaning out Moira tonight. That's that came out wrong. This is not a good stream anymore. <laughs> How do we go back? How do, how do we... How do I delete the VOD? Hey, we're buying that schematic. Why not? That's not the one that gun uses, is it? They use MF cells. Okay. Fuck it, I'll buy the jukebox, even though I'm never gonna have to turn it on, because copyright claims. Just wanna get it out of the way. For fun. For Pete's sake. I'll sell all these. Okay. Wow. Sitting on a lot of smokes. If you know what I mean. Um. Wow. Oh, I so am not going to be using the hunting rifle much. Not now that I have all these nice energy weapons. Good hunting. Prepare my quip. You Nice. And do some repairs on my own. Oh, I can't even. Fuck. Can't even. Right now, I can't hey, even. Don't mind the smell. Okay, well. Fuck it. Sell it. Wait, no. I need the extra five barter. I need it. How's it going out there in the way? I'm glad you didn't hear anything inappropriate so far. So it might be up soon, actually. Round eight. We got dentist thing today. Oh, yeah. I remember them talking about that. Dentist appointment. Dentist ointment. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, how about... Okay, how much... That, that's all I need. 55. 51. Um... I feel like there's... Just a lot here I can sell. Okay. 
Cool. Good hunting. Apprentice dointment. Apprentice dointment. That's what I like to hear. You've been appointed the, the dentist? Wow. La la la. As free as a bird. As free as these birds, specifically. These 2D birds. <laughs> At least they're not 100% 2D. Swapping PCs. Nice. Paper bird. Aw. They at least had like a little bend in them. A little dent. I have tried talking to that guy before. Yeah. I also... S <laughs> I hear people like to talk about that in like Fallout fact videos a lot. The guy that's up there. Oh, look, my jukebox that I'm never going to turn on. Nice. He's just like, how the heck did you even get up here? It's a fun little Easter egg. I should talk to him later on in this run. I'll do that after I go back outside. Just so people can experience it. Because I care about the viewer experience. Obviously. I don't know why you wouldn't even think about that, you silly viewer, you. I care. I care a lot. You just, you silly, freaking silly, gosh dang, silly <laughs> viewer. Okay. Calm down. Oh, I need to make more bottle cap mines. So useful. You. Then, launch box. Oh, I can make like 20 of them. I'm like, wait, no, I shouldn't make them. I should wait until I have more. No, dang it. I, I, yeah. So a little quirk of this game is you should, uh, you get, if you get, you can get up to three schematics and each one you get, it multiplies the amount of weapons you and or condition of the weapons you make in the workbench so i'm gonna hold off making more if i had three schematics i'd be able to make three bottle cap mines from that oh he even has a bed up here really i never knew that never noticed that part <laughs> there's nothing just like the Content aware AI. Uh, I was gonna say Vinny streams, uh, Wayne Radio TV streams. There's nothing out there, Gordon. The more time I spend talking to you, Stockholm. the less I'm spending watching for raiders. How the hell did you get up here anyway? <laughs> Cute. He knows he's in a video game. He knows I'm I'm Mr. Video Game. Caravanners out here? Nope. How's my disposition? Amazing. I'm an ambassador of peace. Okay, I'm gonna actually do that little, uh, this little school here. That we haven't done yet, somehow. Then I'll try doing the uh, Agatha quest line. Start that up. So much ammo for this thing. Feels wasteful not to use it. I somehow didn't get well rested when I went there. Made the choice not to go to my bed for some reason. Go back. I 
Yeah, AK is so accurate. Actually, that was really accurate. I was not expecting that to work out that well. Who knew if you shoot enough bullets? You can make dreams come true. Let's go back for a sec. Accurate by volume. <laughs> Averages out to being accurate. It's good to see. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh, what a school experience. I'm just a typical day at high school. It's elementary school. Goodbye. I think the music book's in here, actually. No, maybe it's not. I know it's in this building, but I forgot if it's in this room. It is. Got it. Okay, let's leave. There's probably nothing else here that's, like, worthwhile, to be fair. Just a bunch of little random loot. Aw, oh, terrible sound effect. <laughs> one sound effect per bullet. <laughs> Squeak by the bullets. Heartache by the number. It's so unfortunate we don't get to experience that together. The uh the music of Fallout 3. I really like the music. It's fun to chill. It's fun. It makes the atmosphere a lot more fun. Just to, you know, if you, if you ever want to, you can put on like a little radio station in a second tab and you can pretend that I'm listening to the radio in this game. That's the ideal way to experience this game. Guys, <laughs> really haunt me. So many cigarettes in this school. Like the good old days. When they used to put a pack of cigarettes in your lunchbox every day. First area I walked in playing this game. This was your first area. <laughs> it's the most fucked up thing I'd seen in gaming. Yeah, that, that area, that's pretty shocking visual. If I was a teacher, I would want to smoke. <laughs> No, don't. Okay, I didn't pull the pin. Ooh. I don't see those swords that often in this game. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. <laughs> These actors, I'm telling you, they give it their all. Hide from me? Hide from me? Put more inflection in my voice, then I'll become an actor. That's depressing. <laughs> Seeing all those skeletons in there, knowing the story or imagining. You like that, huh? You like that? Still better than Starfield AI. Damn. Shots fired. Well, double entendre there. And a plie. No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. It'll ball be over soon. Come on out, Discord kitten. You know you can trust me. Ugh. 
I, I feel like there's implications with that term that I'm not realizing, that I'm not meaning to imply when saying it. I mean, more is just a creepy thing to say to someone on Discord, but I don't like, um, you know, the potential implications there. People seem to use that when they're, um, when they're barbering someone, so let's not... Do people say that to, to, to avoid that term? Barbering? I feel like that's a good way of not saying it. Not that I would need to say it. Except in the context of uh, not agreeing with it. <laughs> Look, I'm not like a, a YouTube controversy type person. I don't want to talk about that type of stuff. Not like these channels that get tons of views for talking about the horrible, horrible things. Who's out there? I'm just a silly let's player, a uh, streamer, gamer. This is bullshit. Come out and fight. I realize everything I say at every stream works really well in a call-out compilation. See, that's something that most streamers can't give you. Extremely unintentional call out about call outable things. No streamer has ever done that. Scared? Hiding from me? A little bit of hope I don't find you. Fuck. Usually once a YouTube channel starts talking about controversy, their grasp. They're grasping onto frame. Scared? Just like a little bit. Scared? Just like a little Wonder, bit. I don't I don't know if I understand what you meant by that. Grasping onto frame. These guys have been like muttering for a lot of my run here. Oh god. Tear him apart. Good hits. Nice. Just walk forward and... Pull down the button. Ooh, library key. Get that later. Oh, grasping onto fame. Sorry, I read that as frame. I thought you were talking about, like, they, they grasp the side of the video frame. For some reason. Oh. Yeah, they're right. Now, are you saying grasping onto fame? Do you mean like, like they're, you said rel relevance as in, so you're, you're implying that when they start talking about controversy, it's them having like a last ditch effort at being relevant. Or are you saying they like try to cash in on the trend? I feel like it's the first one. Cause if that's the case, yes, I agree. Like controversy is what you gravitate toward after you're done, like after you you've done having things to say. Yeah, the first one, got it. Yeah, that's the case. <laughs> I love when the blood like escapes into the sky. Ooh. Yeah, I understand what you mean now. Is end up making a channel about controversies when you don't have uh, other content to make. Unlike me, where I have so many funny things to say while playing video games. Something that most streamers can't offer you. Uh, suck me, ah. Uh. <laughs> Entry one. Boppo died like a bitch. <laughs> he didn't have half the a bad idea setting up here. He didn't have half a bad idea setting up here. We had a good thing going. We had a good thing going. <laughs> it's 
repeating myself. Picking off caravans and traders on their way into Megaton. That makes sense. He was stupid to try and raid the town. Dumbass deserves the bullet. Sims putting his head. Damn. Anyway, there is sweeter water to be had here. The damn vaults. What we should be trying to get into. Ooh. Not that <laughs> rag-ass town. If we can get in there, ain't none of us going to want again for the rest of our lives. I leave. Welcome back, Charlie. Some of the scabs got tired of digging the tunnel and started using mines to get into the caves. Not a half bad idea. The explosives damn near knocked the building apart. We got a new window or two on the side of the building. Haha, <laughs> I'm going to have some of the boys knock over a caravan for more explosives, but we'll have to use fewer in the blasts, or some asshole from Megaton will come looking. Oh, they're making a, a tunnel into Megaton, I guess. Hit a damn hive of ants, and uh-oh, in the tunnel. Oh, I remember now that they, yeah. There's just ants down there, I think. Bastards ate seven of our best diggers before we could lock off the way in. Need to find some way to poison them so we can get some raid. Keep digging and blast into the vault. Oh, they're going to the vault, not Megaton. If we don't get there soon, I think I'm going to end up like Bapo. Except it won't be the sheriff popping me. Um, It'll be my own men. That's one way of putting it. That username, yeah, suck me, haha. <laughs> Very good. A knife. Mini log. Spring Vale Raider mini log. Okay, yep. I know I had a key, but I like unlocking things if possible. Same with a guy earlier for the Spring Vale library. So hopefully those two bodies just stay put for now. Stay putties. Putty Spencer. Gotta make sure these two are close together so I don't lose track of them. La di da di da. Woo 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 woo. Having a party. Yeah. Put you here. Oh, put you here. Put you here. Maybe I should match your friend. Make sure to get along better. There we go. Now you two are twins. This is when you can tell things took a turn for the worst for Squint. When he started his evil arc. Um, I think you meant when he starts his helpful arc, where he helps his friends fit in. Just like in popular uh, sitcoms, where there's this alternative girl who's around, but the the popular girl makes sure she helps out by making sure she dresses <laughs> pretty. Like, Actually, that's very similar, especially if you're considering Heathers. The thing I was doing is very similar to <laughs> that situation. Why is the lighting so good in this game? <laughs> I don't know if you're being facetious, but I do like it, actually. It does have some charm to it, even if it is kind of weird. I think you might be serious, though. Which is... I think it's okay. It just has some weird colors in the light, though. Almost the exact same.
I think this this game is a little too like green and yellow with the lights, but besides that, it's pretty good. Fuck, oh, wrong item. There. Kick ass. Oh my goodness. It's very fun when ragdolls happen. Ah, you always remove the green tint to the world with a mod. That makes sense. That is an experience I am not acquainted with, but there's such a green, like, tint on everything. I love that ragdoll where someone's running at you and you knock them over, so you see the whole, like, animation go through. Their momentum. Nice. After seeing the follow, the follow through of a punch. When people die when they're like mid run ragdolling toward you, or ragdolling after dying toward you. Okay. It's been going pretty well. Holding on to a lot of beer. Hold my beer while I pee. Well, you're not holding your beer then, are you? Ah. Let's talk more about pee. Yeah, considering its age, this game doesn't hold up, but it <laughs> doesn't hold up too badly. I agree. The graphics. <laughs> Our favorite dish. Thank you. Thank you for that context. Uh-huh. Hear all those ants crunching away over there. <laughs> Who spotted who first? Very hard. Oh, I need to get that key. Good thing I know exactly where he is. Okay, I just, I'm curious about... Okay. I guess I'll get the library key while I'm at it. No clue where the library is, but it's fine. Oh. Hey, friends. Be clearing out a lot of these bullets. Oh, hi. You got out. Nice. And these ones don't shoot fire. As far as I know. Um, what did I want to check? I forgot. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, you just got out somehow. More drugs in the school. That's what I'm talking about. Just kidding, we do not endorse that. Only in video games. For fun and humor. Oh, I was gonna check my if I still had well rested, which I think I do. Pog. Hello, Riku. 
does look like an American public school, as it is. So, good job on you, Bethesda. Maryland. Bonavista. Ubisoft. I don't know, just making up company names. Reciting random ones. Oh, I remember the silly thing about this area. They like retreat, but then they come back out with more. That's funny. Mulching these guys to a fine anti paste. Nice anti paste. Mm, delicious. Ooh. We're eating ant meat tonight, folks. Want that book? And itch. Bottlenecking. It's definitely where explosives would come in handy. That's unfortunate. See your, someone in chat, uh, Thunk Chef is mentioning how someone got caught with a bunch of pot in college and lost, or er, in school, in high school and lost out on a college scholarship. It's very unfortunate. Different times for sure. I know there's a big thing about like people serving felony time for like, for like weed trafficking or whatever, which is like such a low offense compared to what they could have, you know, in comparison to what other things people are selling out there. They're actively really hurting people. But of course, you know, in uh, all legal, in your legal jurisdictions. Yeah. So many eggs. So many yeggs. So much meat. Yeah, back in 2012. Wow. Yeah, when that stuff... I mean, hopefully... I, I know that, yeah, I mentioned it a second ago, but... It's unfortunate to hear other people serving time for, for those offenses. Well, it's okay. Biden and Obama are going to expunge them all. Hopefully. Expunge is the wrong word. Expob them. More levels. Wasteland. Damn. None of these are for the library. I got a key for the library, but I don't... I've never really known where it goes to. Oh well. We're pretty thorough here. Looks like the library would be upstairs, maybe? Alright, I think it's probably a, uh... I think it's a key to something I've already unlocked.
It's like that door. Is this a library right here? It's probably this door. Let's double check in every nook and cranny. Okay. Okay, why did I expect anything different? <laughs> um. Oh no! Oh. Wait, no. That was a quick save. Yes! Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> okay, we're all good. <laughs> Quite the situation we just had there. Um, let's do the air food next. I'll go to big. T oh, I was gonna say I'll take these, take on these enemies first, but I think they're just the respawned ones from up there. Just I don't, I don't really care to do. So, big town. I will do blood ties. I'm not... Yeah, my weight is way... Way too much weight. Give me that. So... Let's, uh... Let's uh, go... To... Rivet City? Face mask? Oh. Oh, you gave yourself the full spa... Oh, okay. Face mask, like, spa treatment. You put on your face mask. Glad to hear your spa treatment has been going well, Scruffy. I have water. I've heard, uh, like, apparently if you deny water to these guys, they'll actually die. I, I never denied water to them besides saying, like, you know, I couldn't offer water. Can you help me? I need water. Purified water, please. Yep. Help him out. Yeah, I'm a cool guy like that. My arm is still broken from that. <laughs> the when I shot the motorcycle for no reason. Um. The nicest, aw. <laughs> Colon three. Yes. Yes. Welcome to Potomac Atari. I'm hoping this guy has the trader hat someday. Roving trader hat. Nope. He does have caps to sell me though. To trade for. For me to trade for. Oh. Give me a shout if you need. I'll give you a twist and a shout. Morning. Decided to check out the shop. Yeah, I want to read. <laughs> this is quite the selection, but they're all in lousy condition. I want to say this last time, but I never got to. I don't put the good stuff out on the table. If you're interested, I can show you the stuff in the locker. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, I, okay. Well. That dialogue might have given me something nicer. Yeah. There's always a reason to shoot an inanimate object. I like your thinking, Charlie. Neat. 
Nice video game for you. I was thinking of going to Paradise Falls in this episode, maybe. Just so I can start <laughs> start liberating. Oh, no thank you. Because that is something we have to get to someday. MF. Yeah, these guys. Okay. MF Doom. I can't believe this game predicted MF Doom with uh, MF cells. Can't <laughs> grab the pan pad from Paradise Falls, that's right. Oh, I think you could do something with Ant Meat. Um, MF Doom is the lead designer. Hell yeah. Oh, I got a video. Oh. Maple made a clip. I have to look at it sometime. It's really fun of them. <laughs> we'll see what clip the clip was. Some other time. I'll make sure to post it somewhere. But, um. Hold on a sec. Oh, Maple posted it in general chat too. Very sweet of them. Oh, mod where the radio plays MF Doom tracks. Todd Howard is there for MF Doom. Good logic. I, I, I don't see any, any plot holes there. Take all my jet, please. <laughs> Take my wife. No, <laughs> not please. Smart. So smart. Smortimer. Ah, the dulcet creakings of the giant ship we're in. Very settling. Quite literally. Ho ho! Ho! That's how I really laugh. I've been stifling it this whole time. Ho ho! 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 Ho 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 ho! <laughs> I'm really Santa. The truth comes out. Give me a shot if you need. Santa is real. Santa's real, and he's actually a raccoon. That'd be a very good Christmas story. The Christmas raccoon. <laughs> yeah, if we've been looking for this old man this whole time, but we weren't looking, you know, right at home in our dumpsters. <laughs> I'm sorry, I left them in the trash, Scruffy. That's why I didn't get those for Christmas. Everyone's looking down the chimney when they should have been looking in the trash. Not where they belong, but it's the best I can do. On such short notice. <laughs> the short notice of uh, knowing exactly when every year. I've been wounded. Oh no, I've been wounded. Uh, oh, that's fine. Yerp. Oh. 
Yoink. Nope. No, you like you splanky for that way. Cool. Uh, uh, dang. Want to do the Agatha thing first before we, before we do blood ties. Let's do Agatha. Because I did get the sheet music I was talking about. It's the kind of the whole reason I went there. It's that little town. To that little, not town, that little, uh, schoolhouse rock. Okay. So, Agatha. Agatha Christie. Who's Agatha Christie again? She wrote books. No, there's a lot of books written by her. No, wait, no, yes. I thought I was going to say there's a lot of books written, like, about her. Yes, there is. That's true. But she's known for the murder on the Orient Express. Okay, we're going on an Agatha Christie hunt. Uh, hunt? <laughs> no. Agatha Christie, like, deep dive now. I'm, in, I'm deep in the Wikipedia. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of words. I'm seeing Christie included stereotype descriptions of her characters and her work. Oh, goodness. Let's... No, wait. That's... Where was that going, actually? And such attitudes were more commonly expressed publicly, particularly in regards to... Uh... <laughs> no, yeah, this wasn't good. Um, Let's go back. Wait, fuck, I fell down that rabbit hole when I was just looking up the word Agatha for the... Okay, there. I know where it is now. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like between Germantown and Minefield, south of it. South of those two. It's right here. Cementary. Say it was a cemetery? Yeah. I don't even see a cemetery here. Hey, it's because everyone's dead. What? I think that makes sense. <laughs> it's a cemetery. If... Oh, God. It's a cemetery where everyone's dead, which means there wouldn't be a cemetery there because no one would be there to. Poor centaur. No one would be there to bury everyone. Bang. You can tell it's late at night <laughs> when I start saying stuff like that. We love a good delirious squint for oh. streaming. Oh, ow. <laughs> Rip. Okay, I thought I heard a, a grenade, but it was just this guy's sword dropping. Very similar sound. Time to die. <laughs> you really thought. That gave me a good amount of XP, that last guy. Ooh. Whoa. Hello. See why they're guarding this place. So much loot. So much epic Borderlands loot. For a time, Borderlands was such the game for gamer loot. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need to open up a 
Mountain Dew. I become parched. Ah. Refreshing. Not sponsored. But this is a Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Spark Raspberry Lemonade flavor. In case you're wondering. It's probably filled with the most carcinogens out of any soda. That, that title. As you know that it's just only chemicals in here. The more flavors something has, the more like types of things in it. Does that mean it has like the <laughs> more uh, more chemicals in it? Because it's like raspberry lemonade, Mountain Dew, so there's at least four chemicals there or whatever. <laughs> it's the longer the name a flavor is, the more chemicals. I'm pretty sure. I think it's a very like quantifiable thing. If you were to ask me. And you are. And you are. Oh, the condition on this thing is really poor now. It's piss poor. Train yard? Who's here? Your insect. Oh my gosh. That's a big one. Crimple. Right, I also want to check man ant meat. Ant meat. Um, let's see here. Ant meat. Yeah, it has no use besides just eating it. Okay. There's certain meats in this game that have more use. Ant is not one of them. So. Let them eat ant. Love getting pelted with gamma radiation. That's basically girls' night right there. Heard a little insect fly by. Hello. Nope. People were here. I can tell there's signs. <laughs> I think there's like a bobblehead somewhere here, like hidden. To protect Tron. Violence will not be tolerated. Got him. Yerky got his ass. Target confirmed for Yerky, sir. Oh. Big, big trench. Trench resiner. Trench resin or That's a thing that the game grumps game grumps said once. Trent resin or <laughs> it's part of a silly bit that they did a while back. Where Aaron was like Voiced his speeching with Dan or whatever over a text message. Saying some random shit about the Facebook movie. The social network. And uh, text to speech just <laughs> said Trent Reznor or as Trent Reznor. Another robot. Let's not and say we did for now. Um, damn it. Can 
Are they safe? You aren't safe with me around. Safe. Because I'm going to crack you. I'm a super sleuth. Okay, where is this place? Hmm. Um. Okay, that train yard. It's supposed to be like you're behind me. Why is this marker? That's so dumb. This marker is facing south. Okay, yeah, now it's completely, now it's directly behind me. I wonder why. The marker was just misleading me for a while. Okay, fine, if you really want to fight. Oh my god, was that enough to level up? That'd be so funny. No, it wasn't. Yeah, my map really, the marker really glitched out for a sec. That was annoying. Okay, let's do it. Let's do this! God, you're giant. Ow. Oh. But I somehow ran out of bullets. Four? Four non, Jeremy? Ow. So four non, Jeremy is a reference to an episode of the show Peep Show. Definitely recommend looking up the comedy Peep Show. Very funny. You will not be mistaken. You, mis you will not be mistaken? You will not regret it. <laughs> There's some real combat here. Ow. Oh god. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I was spamming the stim pack item. Ooh. Breathe now. Sure. Nice. Nice distribution there. Might get skeleton. Hmm, <laughs> cannibal. Gain the option to eat bodies. Do lose karma. I'm such a good guy after all. I could stand to lose some karma. Some epic reddit karma. It's worth being a cannibal. No. No. I break my limbs pretty often. I usually choose that skeleton one, so I think I will go for it. This makes it more durable. It's nice. Ah. Forgot where I was. Lost myself. For a minute there. I lost myself. I lost myself. For a minute there. I lost my... That's, that's a Radiohead song. It's a song by that Tom York. Tom York, as he's as he's known. Oh. What was your plan there? Oh. Have the same plan, huh? I do. Oh, another one? That might be a certain random event that happens for 
They spawn on you with only melee weapons. Poor group. We finally reached it to we finally reached Agatha's house after all this time. An ulterior motive too to, to come here because you get access to it's a caravan trader po point. So let's see who we got here. Crow. Welcome, welcome. My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. Ooh. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel Whoa. claws of death itself. Have a look. Can't believe he sells protection. He sells contraceptives. Tell me about your caravan. My caravan sells clothing and armor to decorate and protect the body while it endures the ravages of the physical world. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. My travels take me from Canterbury Commons to where there is true need of this protection. After all, this is what they'll pay the most for. Mm. If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. Wow, what a quote. Cool. You mentioned Canterbury Commons. That's a place we need to go to so we can do a quest that you can invest money into all these caravans. Hey there. It increases the quality of their items and the, the variety. And also one of the merchants ends up having the highest repair skill in the game after you invest in them. Which makes it very nice to uh, repair. Hard to find resources for items. I get the time. Oh my. I wasn't expecting any visitors. Oh my. <laughs> Tamper with that and we're going to have a problem. <laughs> my my my. You certainly do look a little bit worn out from your travels. Oh, just look at my terrible manners. I'm Agatha. It's so nice to meet you. Oh. Now, what brings you all the way out here? Nice old lady. Hmm. That's hilarious. I was about to ask you the same thing. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm just fine out here. My husband, rest his poor soul, oh. saw to it that our house was well protected from the elements and the inhabitants of the wastes. <laughs> me. Oh, boo-hoo. Dead people die all the time. It's like you don't have many visitors, then. Apart from supply caravans, you're the first person to set foot inside my house in a <laughs> long time. No one else has tried. It's not for lack of trying at this point, oh. mind you. I'm just far off the beaten path. Huh. Living in this isolation protects me, but it has also made me very lonely. Surely you haven't severed all contacts. Oh, oh goodness, no. I have a supply caravan that passes here maybe once a week. I mean, okay. I trade with him for whatever I need, and I stock up enough till they return. What could you possibly have to trade? Besides shelter? Well, I offer something in the way of entertainment. Oh, my. I play songs on my homemade violin, and people trade me goods. Homemade violin? If not in person, I use my husband's old radio set. The men in the caravan say it keeps their morale up on lonely nights in the wasteland. Aw. Oh, I guess a homemade violin is never quite in tune. Oh, you are a clever one. <laughs> yes. Yes, smartass, exactly you're a clever one. problem that I have with it. It doesn't quite play all of the notes correctly, Aww. and I have to constantly tinker with it. Your husband's radio can broadcast across the entire capital wasteland? Yes, my Whoa. husband was very proud of the setup. He tinkered with that thing for years filled. to get it working. I've tried to use it to get whatever I need, but I've never gotten a reply. <laughs> oh. You built a homemade violin, huh? You built a you built a time machine out of a DeLorean dock? Thank you. Well, my husband had his hobbies. I'm afraid mine was making that sorry instrument. I only wish <laughs> I could replace it with something better. Is there any way I can help? 
Well, now that you mention it, um, yes, there is. My training depends on my violin. Without it, I have nothing to play, no way to make music. No music. If you can bring me a violin, a better one, I'd feel much more secure. Violin, that's hardly something I would have... Something that would have survived the war. Yes. Very sad, isn't it? Sad to think that no more musical instruments will ever be made the old way ever again. It's terrifying. <sighs> well, fortunately, I know where perhaps the last real violin in the world exists. If you give me your word that you will recover it, I will tell you more. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Made the lady killer act. <coughs> if only you had something to help me keep me safe, my little honeybee. Oh, I want to use that one. I want to call her honeybee. Oh my. I didn't know I still had the looks. Aw. Well, you just made my day, you sweet thing. Let me give you something extra to help you on your way. Ooh. I have a small amount of ammunition that my husband left behind. A box of odds and ends. I don't think I've opened it in years. Trinkets and baubles. If you do this for me, you're welcome to take whatever you need. Oh, nice. Thank you. All right. I'll give you my word. I'll do my best to recover the violin for you. Oh, I don't Is think it a I've been this happy in years. What? As promised, here's the key to the ammunition box. Another it's key? It's right under the radio table. Okay. Before you leave, I have some information that may help you. At quest, quest, quest. Begin. It all starts with my great-great-grandmother Hilda back in 2077. Whoa. Before the bombs fell. You have records from back then? Of a kind, yes. Hilda sent a good deal of letters to my great-grandmother Mary, hmm. who passed them on, and so forth. I suppose the correspondence could be considered a diary of sorts. Hmm. So long ago. It certainly is a long time. That precious instrument has been through a lot. Anyway, Hilda was quite a special woman. Classically trained and exceptionally talented at the violin. Mm. Her pride and joy was her Stradivarius violin. Stradivarius! I can only imagine how exquisite this instrument must have been. When the war reared its head, she was invited by Vault Tech into Vault 92. They claimed the vault would be dedicated to preserving musical talent. Okay, I want to. Here's a quick little wiki. Um, Stradivarius is one of the violins, other stringed instruments built by members of the Italian family Stradivari. Stradivari. Uh, uh, Stradivari. Particularly Antonio Stradivari. Late 17th, 18th century. They're considered some of the most fine instruments ever made and are extremely valued collector valuable collector items. I know they're super, like, you know, expensive and rare and, and not often, not many of them, but I didn't know it's just because this one very skilled um, violin maker made them and their family. <laughs> Many blind experiments from 1817 to the to as recently as 2000, 2014 have found no difference in sound between Stradivaria Strad Stradivari oh they just Stradivaries uh, violins and high quality violins in comparable style to other makers and periods nor has acoustic analysts nor has acoustic analysis. So, essentially, there's, like, sources on this wiki just saying there's no actual difference between their violins and other ones, but it's more just, like, an interesting collector's thing at this point. Market value. In 1924, someone bought one for $25,000 in a private auction. Jesus. That was like that's that was literally a hundred years ago. Someone paid twenty five thousand dollars. That's that's like a million dollars back then. It 
Someone bought one in uh, 2000, 2010 for $3.6 million. pristine condition one called the lady blunt violin from 1721 in 2011 was sold for 15.9 million oh my god there says there's one here that was sold for 45 million i want to see the lady blunt one the lady blunt is a stradivarius violin made in 1721 owned by uh oh owned by the guy who made the the family of Stradivari. It was named after the first known owners, Lady Anne Blunt, a British co founder of the Karabet uh, Arabian, Arabian Stud. Oh, that's a type of horse. Known for horse breeding. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway. Musical talent, why would <laughs> they care about that? This violin she owned, was it valuable? Oh, absolutely irreplaceable. The Stradivarius violins are as unique as a painting or a sculpture. Each one its own work of art. I think the opportunity to use that fine instruments with her fellow accomplished musicians was more than a draw for Hilda. Then the bombs fell, the vault the bombs. was sealed, and oh. my family never heard from her again. After 200 years, how can you be certain the violin is still in decent shape? Shop I kept it in a special pressurized case. <laughs> Inside the case is like the a can of uh, temperature tennis and balls. humidity for the instrument. If the case is still functioning, the Stradivarius would be in perfect shape. Hilda Stradivarius was named the Swa Stradivarius. All of them had names. That's what I wanted <laughs> to get. They all had, like, the Cabbage Patch doll names. An idea where, where Vault 92 is located. That's the catch. I have no idea where it is. Oh. I'd suggest making your way to Vault Tech headquarters in the D.C. ruins. Simple that as that. That would be a good place to begin. Good luck! <laughs> good luck! Dumbass. <laughs> Aw, Agatha's song. Tell me a bit about your great-great-grandmother. She was quite a special woman. Hilda was her name. Classically trained and exceptionally talented at the violin. Her pride and joy was her Stradivarius violin. I can only imagine how exquisite this instrument must have been. <coughs> when war reared its head... She was invited by Vault Tech into Vault 92. They claimed the vault would be dedicated to preserving Aww. musical talent. Happily, she accepted. After she entered Vault 92, the bombs fell. And the story, as I know it, ends. Song I was thinking about, but I have forgotten. So never mind. <laughs> we know about Soil Stradivarius. Not too much, I'm afraid. It was fabricated way back in 1714 by a famous Italian craftsman named Antonio Stradivari. Antonio he made Stradivari. A bunch of Stradivarius violins, actually, and each one was individually named over time to identify them. <laughs> they are regarded as the most outstanding instruments ever made, and no two sound alike, they say. Incredible. <laughs> Audio Since files, the what do they know? laying waste to most of the world. It may be safe to say that this could be the last surviving violin of its kind. I only care about what my man Anthony Fantano has to say about violins. How will I know the Stradivarius when I see it? Well, from my great-great-grandmother's diaries, I have deduced that she had a special pressurized case created for it. Hopefully, the Swa Stradivarius Swa. was in the case when she... Well, you know. Oh. Oh, an image of it. Okay. Stradivarius worth a ton of caps. I hope you're not thinking of doing anything <laughs> dishonest. You gave me your word. You have any information on Vault 92? I'm sorry. I wish I did. All I know is that Vault Tech 
intended it to be a protective environment for the world's musical talent. When the bombs fell, the vault was sealed, and the rest is a mystery. Perhaps when you find it, you can find some sort of a record of what occurred inside. Cool. Can you tell me anything about the vault tech headquarters? From what I gather, it's located in the ruins of D.C. I got the location from one of the supply caravans. They told me it had extremely high security and something they call a main frame <laughs> inside. Cool. I'd imagine it's quite dangerous. I'd be careful if I was you. Okay. Watch your... Oh, God. Let me know if there's anything I can... Nope. Okay. I can't even give her the music yet. All right. Wow. It's a lot of junk. A lot of nice, uh... Munitions. Um. Okay. Didn't mean to inter interrupt you. Wow. Got late. Still the same old people. Evening. Yep. Evening. Oh, cool. Looks like an egg. Rocket launcher isn't the most accurate big gun, but as long as you've got junk lying around, you've got ammo. Just load the hopper with garbage and turn it the junk into a deadly weapon. Epic. Unironically epic. Evening. Evening. Have a nice day. You too. Should hot bar some Mirelurk meat. <laughs> I was thinking about hot barring like my chems too. Could probably use those a lot more. I get a lot more use out of them that way. Yep, medics. Cool. I have a hot bar full of meds. A lot of locations I haven't discovered out here. Uh-oh, it's these guys again. Well, got their attention. Oh, I actually did run out of ammo from this for this. Wow. I haven't been using it that much. Come on. Oh boy. Nice. <laughs> All right. That was uh good fight like all the all the rest of them. Where I just walk up and keep pressing the shoot button. Oh. Got some people playing baseball out here. Pretty late for that, but at least they're having fun. Because there's actually a baseball diamond here. You're dead. Rip. This two? Okay. Yep. Memorial Field. Arafu is a town that's on this broken off part of the highway. So that's where we're going. Oh, hi. Pog. So much in this game. Feels like Skyrim. Oh, wow. Okay, that was pretty quick. But I think I got a critical hit on him. Maybe I don't need to use bottle cap mines every single second with them. Every single time I see them. 
And here we are, Erifu. We've been putting out, putting off this quest for a while for no reason. Ooh, Wolfgang. Welcome, sir or madam, to Crazy Wolfgang's he sells traveling junk. junk store, the depot of detritus, detritus. the shop of slop, <laughs> and the caravan of crap. Now. <laughs> What odds and ends can I, the craziest of all possible Wolfgangs, offer to you? <laughs> Tell me about your caravan trade. I scour the wasteland for the very best pieces of trash, the height of detritus, and the veritable <laughs> pick of the litter. It's all valuable to someone. Yeah. And I always make sure to make my rounds through Canterbury Commons. Their mayor, Roe, always has a place for a clever junk man like myself. A junkman. Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need. Oh no, I have Assuming you need the random junk that I've got. Sorry that I haven't been talking to chat much, specifically. I thought a lot of the chat wasn't here, because my... My chat wasn't updating this whole time. Oh no. I have so much to catch up on. Aw. Okay, sorry. Uh... So much reading. Let's see here. Sorry, I'm just gonna take a sec here to read a bunch of past, past stuff. Oh, there's a lot of fun stuff I could have been. For <laughs> bullets, my favorite hard candy. Could have been reacting to. I should always uh, double check what's going on. Whenever I uh, see the chat stopped. Yeah, we're learning about the violin. Cheddar Bay biscuits, delicious. I'm very into that. Love grandma. Yeah, Agatha's fun. I had a feeling you'd like them, Riku. Yeah, wouldn't you want your instruments to not sound different from each other? <laughs> oh, off to bed. Oh, good night, Charlie. Let's say we'll be up soon, I think. Yeah, Wolfgang is Wolf Wolfgang is nice. And we're back. I'll have to say, uh. I have to let no Charlie set. Let no fuck. <laughs> I have to let Charlie know that I saw him at the end there. Welcome back. Thanks, Riku. All right, I'll just sell him a bunch of my trash. Trash. Yeah, Wolfgang's the guy who gives who gets the best repair skill. Once you fully upgrade his his uh, caravan. Looking to trade? I'm glad all the caravanners in this game are big cow fans. Junk and crap. They're such big cow fans that they even have cows that are two cows. That's how much they like cows. Junk, junk. Carrying around so much junk. In the trunk. Big old dumpy. Okay. Oh, wait, fuck. Uh, I mean, like, how how far have I been over the line? Oh, not that far, okay. You're over the line, mister. Oh, God, so much money. I need to start A pleasure doing spending it. Like, now. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Yep, money spent. 
Yeah, time for fun. Oh no, that's not fun. Rip. Rip and cow. Aw. I heard a distant moo. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have good luck now. Oh, I remember. When we get here, he's gonna be like, Get fuck, get your head down. We're under attack. Ah! <laughs> Hang on, you're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. This voice. Get over here before they spot you. Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? Now what the heck are you doing? Well, I have this letter for the West family. That's great, but I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. Hmm. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. These are like quests that most people do so early on in their runs. Now we're like halfway through the game doing these. Kind of have trouble. Well, at first they do their typical gang bullshit. <laughs> you know, break stuff and make lots of noise. But they always kept their distance. But this last time they went too far. Oh. They killed all of our Brahmin. No. I mean, that's our life blood out here, you know. It's true. And your life milk. It's got you so spooked. Ah, look, you can call me crazy if you want. But there is something odd about those creeps. I mean, he's got they such got a the chunky guns and they got the muscle. Why don't chunky they just bullet bust belt. down our doors and take us out already? We're really in a bad way and could use some help. Of course, caps. Whatever. Yeah, I I'm good on karma and caps, so he has nothing he can offer me. I'd be glad to help. I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. This quest Can is so simple. Favor? You just like knock on two on doors here. People's houses here. This part of the quest. You know, make sure they're doing okay. Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. <laughs> again, I have a message from the West family from their daughter. Again, I'll, even though I he didn't ask, he he knows I said this already. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it to the West yourself. Can you tell me more about what's going been going on around here. There used to be more families Oh, I think here. he has a bobblehead in his Most house. Most of them have dismantled their shops about and that. moved on to greener pastures. Those that are still living here are Cower pastures. indoors, thanks to the family. Nice. What do you think I can... Uh, where do you think I can find the family? I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark, <laughs> so I can't see exactly where they go. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding. Like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, hmm. or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. Want to go to Moonbeam Cinema? Gotta go now. Just watch yourself. I've got an itchy trigger finger. And I've got a house to lockpick. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't even get bad karma for being in here. There it is. Repair. Hell yeah. Love that. I do like how, because people need to come here to get the bobblehead. I think it didn't give you bad karma for unlocking that door. It's not worth it. The nuka cola was tempting. It's fine. Oh. Man, actually, okay, that's a lot of ammo. Okay, well, at this point, it's worth it. <laughs> Not worth it. JK, it's worth it. Hmm, lovely sounds. My karma was too high anyway. Need to knock me down a peg. And your ciggies. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna go in order, because I I used to go in order whenever I played this dang old thing. Knock. Hello? Is this the mailman? Oh, I do hope my fall catalog has arrived. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, I have the fall catalog. Oh, goody. I can hardly wait to browse the latest fashions. Please do come inside. <laughs> Let me unlock the door for you. Perfect. Yeah, that's how I plan to what give. What the hell are you doing in here? Whenever I lose karma, that's out. how I plan to get it back. Just giving people water. It's so efficient. Your wife let me in. Something about a catalog? Oh, for the love of... Look, she's dumber than a bag of hammers, okay? If you want to talk to anyone, you need to talk to me. So what the fuck do you want? Uh, I'm just, just texting Charlie or messaging Charlie, letting him know that I saw the chat by the end. Chat froze, so I didn't, uh, see it in real time. But I... It happens. Uh, Evan King told me... To check in on you. Is everything okay? We're great. Just peachy. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. Relatable. Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safer. We need to take what an expression. Action. So what do you think of Evan King? I'm sure you want him to take action, huh? Well, he's town mayor or sheriff or whatever he calls himself. <laughs> he calls all the shots. When he says to get the heck indoors and stay put, we do that. Can you tell me more about what's been going on around here, Buster? Everyone's keeping themselves safe from the family. If I was you, I'd the do Omeritas. the same. You want to know more? Talk to Evan King. Okay. What do you think about the family? They're low-life scum who decided to use Arafu as their own personal amusement park. Oh, they're a fun bunch. I'd take a shot at them if I could, but judging from what they did to the Brahmin, I wouldn't live long to tell about it. Okay. Good. Get out. Yeah, uh, no. You got nothing. You must be exhausted from all that walking in this hall. Oh, doesn't she give you something? Oh, and hungry too. Sit, please. Braley Ewers is the name. He just gives Don't you like mind a... my husband, Kenneth. So he woke it's up not on the food. wrong side of the bed this morning. <clears throat> Might be wrong. Evan King told me to check in on you. Is everything okay? Oh, he's such a dear. I must remember to make more of those preserves he loves so much. Ooh. Can you tell me more about what's been going on around here? Oh my, I don't know. <laughs> Mrs. West is probably whipping up a batch of bimbo. famous cookies. And all the kids are playing in the yards. It's so nice outside. To be maple in the, the Fallout grass universe. Looks lovely this time <laughs> of year. <laughs> For her. <laughs> wow. Scruffy has good taste. Just quite lovely. Uh, I have to go. <laughs> uh, okay. You do know there was a war 200 years ago, right? Well, I must speak to my husband about that. We could bring it up at the next Homeowners Association meeting. Wow. Ah, oh, I do love meeting so much. I think I'll bring muffins. Oh, muffins. What you need, darling? Wow. My fallout wife. Good thing there's no one to get in between me and her. Yes? Anyway. He heard me say it. <laughs> Evan King sent me it. Uh, sent me. Can I come in? Oh, he did. Well, it's about damn time he did something. Come on in. I'll unlock the door. Yeah, I know. Perfect timing with his reply. <laughs> like it's I was nice head turned. See a friendly new face around here. It's been a long time. The it's great lighting. <laughs> it's a very odd. Uh, whatever. 
Kevin King told me to check in. Scared out of my mind. I'm glad he's scared out of my honest, nipples. But until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. Nips. What's your take on King? He's a spineless wimp. His best solution to the family is to stay inside our homes and hide. What does that tell them? It tells them that we can be pushed around whenever they want. I'm sick of it. All right, night, Scruffy. Thanks for hanging out. Woo. Can you tell me more about what's been going on around here? We're scared shitless. Evan King's got everyone so worked up about the family, no one wants to set foot outside. That asshole runs the show. But does he really do anything about our problem? No. Uh -oh. Thanks, Scruffy. Glad I could stream and that you could catch it. What do you think about the fam? All they do is terrorize us. They taunt us to open our here doors, has a positive throw message of the family. our houses, and scream at us. <laughs> if I knew King had my back, I'd step outside and show them just how I feel about their visits. Hmm. Especially after this last attack. Sure. Go. Just like everyone else. <laughs> You're Xbox? easily amused, eh? Yes. Yes, I am. No, it takes an intellectual to amuse me. Tee hee hee. It is getting pretty late. I might call it a stream pretty soon. Probably after this quest. Oh my god. Oh, squint! <laughs> Intellectuals like Rick and Morty. Hi, hi Schmate. Nice to see you around. Good luck at the <laughs> dental appointment. Hello. Oh. Bodies of the Wests have bite marks. Oh no, it's true blood on their neck area that go that go to the bone. Jeez. The lack of blood stains on the sheets. What? There's blood everywhere. Is strange, as any bite or wound would uh, of that depth should have caused massive bleeding. The bite marks on the neck appear to be from human or humans with sharp sharpened incisors or canines. I guess there's no like it's hard to tell that the, oh my god Ugh. they do look pretty dried out to be fair there's blood everywhere <laughs> something else on the corpse to indicate what happened okay man had the draining of his life Desiccated. <laughs> I like the eye emojis that you added after desiccated. <laughs> He's been dwaugered. Oh, hi. I know there's a, some ammo over here. Oh, for me to take. Well, is everyone okay? What did they tell you? Everyone okay? Yep, everyone's fine. Did you know the Wests are dead? <laughs> the family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches. Damn it. <laughs> if only we had more men, we could stand up to them. I'm sick of them terrorizing this town. Wait a minute. When you searched the West's place, did you find their son Ian's body? No, enough with the third degree already. <laughs> uh, no, I only found the parents' bodies. This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weird old leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. No! They got Ian! I know I've asked a lot of you already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. Hmm. Don't worry, Evan. I'll figure out what happened to the Wests. To the West. Thanks, kid. You're all right. <laughs> I have a message for the Wests again from their daughter. I keep asking him this. I can't take that. I keep telling him You're that. You're just going to have to bring it back to Lucy or to Ian if you can find him. Ewan. Ewan McGregor. West had bite marks on their necks made by human. What? The family must be a pack of cannibals. Adam West. <laughs> oh, this is all I needed right now. What am I going to do? They'll keep coming back until all of us are dead if they think we're food. Hmm. 
Next time I see the family, there's going to be hell to pay. Hell's going to be raised. Erd. <laughs> it's going to be razored. Um. <laughs> I, I didn't have anywhere else to go with that. Wow. That's environmental storytelling right there. Oh. Um. Hmm. Maybe if I... Maybe if I aim just right on the corner of that one, it'll negate enough of the fall damage. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> well, uh, the not fun way to get down. <laughs> I, I like floated like a paper airplane. Oh, I should have done that in third person. I would have gotten all the the clips for that one. I haven't looked at the clip that Maple made earlier, but Maple made a clip. Cool. I know this is a place you can get inside of. This little, sh this little, uh, grocer. Oh. No! American copyrighted music from from 19 uh from 1776 Okay. Crisis averted. Gaze averted. As in like your gaze. Um That worked that that word sounds a lot like some other word. I'm seeing I'm saying G a Z Y E by the way, not Y. G A Z E. <laughs> Avert your gaze. Okay, I'm going to turn around. <laughs> I feel like that works in two senses. To say <laughs> I turn around and reply to that. Light as a feather. Light as a kilogram of feathers. Like this little grocer. It's not this gross as they say. Okay, maybe it's a little gross. Gross. Er, not that gross. Oh, get to play a little mini game. I love mini game. In game. Looks like I activated the cash register instead of the PC for a sec. Oh, this one's really easy. Okay, is it ING? Nope. Okay, is it, uh... And it's, it's not this one. It's not this one. I think it's warrior. No, can't be warrior. Nope. Whoa, wait, no, it has to be. Probably a choir? Oh no, I'm confused. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely this. Decrees. Yay. We. Oui.
All right. Let's get moving. <laughs> oh, no. The streamer is alarmed. Oh, my God. No. I just took a bunch of chems because I hot barred them. Oh, wow. Worked out pretty well. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Stop, please. Oh. Let's call it a stalemate. We've reached an impasse. <laughs> Get good. <laughs> well done. The scrub need to get good. Uh. I always get so eager to equip the thing that I repaired that I forget that I need to repair more things. I'm so excited. Okay. Very good. Very good. -a. All this Meyer Lurk meat that I'm finally eating. I'm just hoarding it for no reason in the past streams. No! That's fine. Not the worst thing. Unlike Radboat, unlike Radbroach meat, which it definitely isn't the worst thing. Yeah, the the bikes were really effective. I do really like using the <clears throat> all the explosive cars in this game. I learned from earlier that the cars explode. Oh, I'm pretty sure this isn't where the the quest is, but it is something I want to get done. Because I've been saving an item for this guy. This guy will take my sugar bombs. Oh. We're about to see our old friends. Excuse me. Hi, guys. Missed me? Now you gotta kiss me. Mwah. Mwah. Babies. <laughs> Babies. <laughs> I hear more. You know, I'm glad I'm not using the stick anymore, because at least they have some dignity. The stick just pops them. <laughs> Poor guys. At least I can offer them some dignity. They can offer me some grenades. Ooh. Nice little bouquet for me. Is for me. Now I was just curious to check if there was also a bouquet of grenades in that one. No. Oh, no! Spilled soda! No! Oh, I don't have any towel paper here. No! Be back in a sec. Real streamer drama. God damn it. <laughs> Put my soda next to my mouse. <laughs> Who does that? No. Use your fat ass. <laughs> mop, baby, mop. Sit on it. <laughs> it's okay. It's not going to be sticky because it was diet, I think. Right? But. Thank you, Aspartame. Count on you to not stick. I'm just blotting. Epi epiblotus. This, uh... This, like... This card mat that I use... That, like, trading card game card mat that I use as a mouse pad. This really big one. It's, uh... It's been through a lot. You can imagine. Worst comes to... 
<laughs> worst comes to worst, you can just lick it clean. That's right. Imagine how much I'd sa save on dry cleaning if that were the case. I guess that wouldn't be dry, but... For some reason, I thought, in what case would it be dry if you were licking it? And then I just realized that'd be, like, if a cat were licking it, it would be, like, dry cleaning. I'm not here. This guy's friendly. He's decently friendly. You're Hi. You're not... not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? Aw, Murphy. Secrets. Hand it over, zombie. Very mean. Uh, still your secrets, not at all. What secrets? <laughs> the secret of making Ultra Jet, obviously. Oh, he's making extra potent oh, drugs. <laughs> now the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> I have to kill Typical you. <laughs> me. Ultra Jet. Is that some sort of super cam? I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Whoopsie. Jet barely affects us, you see. Cat's out of the Only bag. Trouble is. It's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, he's so vascular. Help me with that. Uh, nothing's for free in this world, Murphy. Yeah, no kidding. I didn't think you were a freaking charity. <laughs> it takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. Sugar bombs. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, sweeten I it. Pay you fifteen caps. So you in? Make it 30 caps, and you got yourself a deal. Fine, anything to get what I need. Now scram, I got some preparing to do. Woo! Sugar bombing rush. Or run. That'd be funny if the word, if they had rushes instead. Like it was a sugar rush. Oh, hi! Okay, he has a gay lover, that's great. Keep it moving, meat. Get away from me, smooth skin. Jeez, okay. Free mines, though. I need my ultra drugs. <laughs> my special ghoul ultra drugs. It's perfect for ghouls. <laughs> we wouldn't understand us humans. God damn, are you one ugly son of a bitch? <laughs> Ooh, manhole. Not bad. Oh, maybe that that is the the way to get. Maybe that is the way to get to the people. No, it is not. This is just a place that's uh, a little dungeon, I think. We'll see. Uh, oh, that's the sound of Meyer lurks. Ramen. Poor cow. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Smoothied. Turn him into into clam chowder. Why do they just look at the wall? Where all these giant crabs blare witching down here. Meyer slurps now. Aw. Oh, wow. I... I thought... I was a thought that thought... It's actually a, a whole little trap down here. And there should be a bouquet, probably. I can see it properly. There it is. Nice. Oh. Oh, empty. Who emptied- who emptied this Mirelurk? Oh. Wow. Okay, the fact that there's junk everywhere is really- a fun idea of how to hide mines. I like that concept a lot. They did they did good with this with this dungeon here. I don't like it when when games like hide mines underneath like bodies. Cause I feel like that's a little unfair. There's nothing well like like how would you do that in real life? Like if it's if a body like you don't do that if <laughs> you do, you just don't do that. No, but I mean like you know it, it would like set off the mine so. Kind of makes no sense. When uh, when you set up a mine where it's like a body's covering, oh, covering it. 
fuck. I... All right, well, that's going off. <laughs> okay, crisis averted. <laughs> Feels a bit railroaded though. Oh no. Whoosh, whoosh. See, I can sound like that too, Tunnel. Whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> nope. I'm out of here. <laughs> Amazing. It's an iconic thing from this game. These, like, these baby carts that explode when you get too close. Lead pipes, nice. Might lay those later. Yeah, I was here earlier. I already got this location. Discovered. I think this may be the place for... for the quest. It's down this path. I was just taking the, uh... Just making sure I got all the little goodies here. Picked up some mines. Got some experience. Looking goldine. Oh, here we go. Sometimes crouching like makes you go forward a few, a few units, a few, a few like a feet, a foot or two forward. It's pretty annoying if you're like trying to crouch to disarm a trap. Yeah, it's like it jitters your character model a little. Uh oh, if I didn't disarm this, this thing would swing down. This like this animal haunch. <laughs> <laughs> this, this horse ass. Okay. Yeah, this is where the location is. Hello. Whoa, whoa, slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? The family. Here we have the haunts ass donut first. <laughs> The dedicated donut in the chat over here. I really need to get by you. It's important to, I find what I'm looking for. I did it. All right, I'm all right. so tired. <laughs> I guess you look harmless enough. If I were you, I'd speak to Vance before you poke around too much. You can usually find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. Where is this place? This lovely hole in the ground is Moresti, the headquarters of the family. Maresti. Something about the family. We are a badass gang, and we don't take shit from nobody. Uh, yet yeah, relatable. We also don't like nosy assholes who creep around asking too many stupid questions. <laughs> Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. Maple does love donuts. That is true. She is a lady of taste. That that maple. I remember as a kid, when or whenever I played this, when I first played this, when I was pretty young. Um, I'd always like just try sneaking around this place and loot the heck out of it. Cause there's just so much, like good loot all around here. Skill book is available. For I was able to loot that without it being bad karma. Very nice. That though. Very bad boy. <gasps> Ooh, it's a hard one. Let's have some fun. <laughs> you'll get your <laughs> you'll get a spanked bottom if you keep stealing. <laughs> if you keep the stealing up. Oh my goodness. 
Oh no, <laughs> my bottom. <laughs> I guess I'll go with an ION. TION. Infestation. Okay. Actually, it's probably I. It ends with TION, possibly. Yeah. Okay, so. I don't think it's. De I don't think it's an STAION. So. Probably explanation. Nope. Okay, but that, that that's really confirming the T I O N, which is good because those two weren't like the same at all, besides the T I O N. Precaution, or per uh, pre section. Why am I not able to read that right now? I wonder why. Bottom left of the top right. Ah, I see. Persecution, duh, okay. Good work. Yeah, you did it. Good job, Saint. I feel like we did it together. Um. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's like, okay. That's like an option for uh, if we like killed him so that we'd still be able to get through. I'm pretty sure. Woo. Squantcast wins again. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Why was that so much louder than normal? <laughs> fog, fog, fog. Oh, there's a merchant here that I very clearly remember. He's in that corner. Gotta turn off the radio. For copywritten music. <laughs> Although that station's probably the, the only station that doesn't have as copywritten of music. It's probably public domain. Oh, very hard, but I... Let's see. What's my stat like in that? No. Or if I could boost it with apparel, maybe. Oh, I have 10 to science. I'm so close. I'm off by three. <laughs> and I'm full max intelligent right now, so I can't even boost it anymore. Darn it. <laughs> it's so... <laughs> amazing, Saint. It's so old, that copyright turned into copyleft. <laughs> It's so extremist that the left turned into the right. Am I right? <laughs> or am I left? Oh. <laughs> I'm screaming. We just got so political on here. There's no going back. I'm done. That's the end of my YouTube career. It was a good run. Okay. Oh, it's an outdoor cinema. Ooh. Hamilton's hideaway. Let's uh just make an actual save for here. I know some stuff might go down. Welcome to our home. He's a vampire. My Look at him. call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? <laughs> this place is very different from any other settlement I've seen. I guess that's true. But I'm just going to... I don't want to give him that much credit, so I'm just going to say, what is this place? What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. 
<laughs> he does look like a dollar store Franco brother. That's so funny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you speak. We are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath <laughs> the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe. Rare insults from Schmaitz tonight. Ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, hmm. demons, and the unclean. Please stop. None of the talk is necessary. I know exactly what you are. Say it, vampire. You amaze me. Never have I met a human with the gift of cognition that you possess. The gift of gab. Tell me then, what are we? I'll say you're... I think you're a collective of seriously messed up freaks. Uh, you're vampires. Or at the very least following their fictional traditions. Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? <laughs> vampires. Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Can I enter a house without you inviting me? No. no. Ask me if I believe well, that's good. these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown Sounds like a Hollywood elite over here. of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. Okay, but can you give me a, a Franken sense of belonging? Because I know that's what you're supposed to give baby Jesus on Christmas. And myrrh. And and gold. Is that the third thing they brought? I know it's frankincense and myrrh, they always say, but I forgot the other ones. Vampires in Fallout go potato mode and immediately get irradiated out the ass. It's so true. God, that's a thing we talk about because in the series True Blood, the vampires can, like, regenerate their health by, <laughs> like, like, resting for a day. And a lot of them do it by, like, if they're in dire need, they'll, like, dig into the ground to heal themselves. <laughs> we like to call it potato mode. Uh, do this by teaching them that they're mythical beings, like Good Mythical Morning, just like Good Mythical Morning. Now you disappoint me. You need to open your mind. Ow! I hurt myself by pogging. <laughs> before you pass judgment, I have reined in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a fat. flesh. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. Oh, they're... Okay. You're just a bunch of quirked up uh, emo kids, aren't you? Yeah, um, well, 200 years ago, there's this thing called Hot Topic. Invest in that. Not in eating each other. I've been searching for a young man named Ian West. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? I have a letter uh, for him from his sister. Then a part of his human family still remains? <laughs> Catch Vance at Claire's accessories, yes. In isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that <laughs> heard in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Wait a minute. What happened to him? Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his <laughs> parents. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings. No! Flesh. You're telling me that Ian is a cannibal? A can apple? I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. Uh. Uh, this letter is all Ian has left to his old life. Allow me to give it to him. Your words impress me, human. Perhaps I misjudged you when we first met. <laughs> if you wish to speak to Ian, you are free to do so. Here is the code to the area in which he is meditating. Oh, Aw, oh, darn it. I missed a chance to hack again because he gave me the password. Fuck. Some goofy stuff is going on in the chat.
You're acting like Twilight was a real. Twilight was real. Lock security. Area door, sure. Activate internal security. Error. Activate protecton security unit. Error. Okay. What do you want? He's such a deep voice <laughs> for a person who looks like a kid, kind of. I've been looking for you. You're a bitch to find, oh no. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. <laughs> I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. <laughs> well. I'm sorry, Ian, but your parents are dead. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? No. I know what you did. Vance told me everything. Then you must think I'm some kind of a monster. Look, Ian, I know loss, too. I know it hurts, but say staying here isn't the answer. There's something inside me. Something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only a person I was freak. ever able to talk to is my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? Yeah, I mean, I, I might as well do the one that might give me some experience. <laughs> Let's go home, Ian. Ian, it's the only way to beat your nightmares. The only way to beat your nightmares is to face them. You know, for a second there, you sounded just like Vance. And you're right. I don't Oops. know what I'm running away from, but given time, maybe things can go back to the way they used to be. Please tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to... I'm just gonna gather my stuff. Yeah, I think I should have gone the route that Riku was suggesting there. Can't find the voice Welcome actor's to, age. Welcome to our home. My people call me that. And to what do I owe? <laughs> you might be too old to play a child. Thank you for your investigation work. What uh, you see damn it, I gave him is the more credit. Bastion. It is a sanctuary. Okay. Wait. This is my chance. Welcome to Maresti, human. This is my chance to finally get the, like, get the little mini game time. Best outcome. Ah. Oh. There's no mini game there. Just had to be a key. Unfortunate. <laughs> Best outcome. Ah! Our... <laughs> no. This is the real Fallout experience here. Just clicking through all the dialogue. Okay. Not yet. Okay, because I'm a nerd, I want to double check to see the, uh... To see what the outcomes are like, <laughs> if, depending on this part. Off the Wikipedia. Yeah, there's a lot of scenarios here. Ian's decision must be related to... Oh. Okay. Let's 
After successfully dealing with the problem, blah blah. Once completes the quest in favor of Ian returning to Arafu using the speech check. Advance defending Arafu. Oh, that's just another thing about it. I can still give him the letter. Even if I chose the path I chose. I was curious about how do I, uh, how do I get that one perk? I mean, it's whatever. I don't think it's like too. I don't think it's a good ending or a bad ending, depending on, depending on like. Uh. I think either way, it's fine. If he, if he, if I choose to bring him back to Arafu, or if I cho let him live here. Pretty sure either way, it's like makes no difference to the uh, next part of the quest where I have to like bring peace between the two towns. You get in here. Eh? Sorry, I'm gonna use your bathroom. <laughs> this is stealing if I take the trash. Okay. I'm just like stalling. Huh? What do you want? There's something inside. I'm a mutant. A f no one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. I mean, like it's it's almost like saying this is the right answer by having this be this the the skill check, right? Like, why why would it, you know, imply that if it's not? Does does it matter if where uh, Ian West goes? I wonder. The quest will progress about either the same way. It will progress. Wait, fuck. The quest will progress about the same way. The same either way. Got it. Yeah, I think I said it the right way. If you want Ian to go home, then you need to pass a skill check, or you'll need to show him Lucy's letter. <laughs> yeah, so it kind of just does not matter. Okay, so I guess I'll just do the spill you know, skill second, check there, one. You sounded just like Vance. And you're right. I don't know what I'm running away from, but given time, maybe things can go back to the way they... Please tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there. I'm just going to gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. So Lucy, his sister, like, he, she was the only one besides the family who was, like, could understand him. And the whole reason I'm doing this quest is so that the sister in, can uh, find her family, too. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like I'm just doing this, uh, the, the main reason I did this quest in the first place. She was uh she was in a t in a bar in Megaton talking to us about Arafu and to deliver a letter oh, come on to him. Now, Vance. You're doing what's best for these people. If it wasn't for you, they'd be living in the waste. Or yeah, dead. I agree. Schmate. You always have had a knack for making <laughs> feel I'm glad I'm continuing it's the least I continuing to call you Schmate. You give so much and rarely receive. I'm glad I'm here to help. Wow. Radiant dialogue. Wow. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. <laughs> the way his nose moves. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? Before I talk about Ian, there's still the matter of Arafo to discuss. As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. <laughs> Whoa. Give those people a chance. They're defenseless. Vampires can drink any kind of human blood... Even from blood packs? I believe that the blood preserved in blood packs could provide what you need. There must be an alternative source to blood that you can survive on. <laughs> a 
let's do the spill ch skill check because experience. I suppose we could stop our raids on Arafu in light of this situation, but that just forces us to prey on others. Unless many oh, years ago, he comes to the realization himself by drinking from <laughs> preserved blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem was there's five ways for me to tell him that, or he could scarce. do it himself. That's so stupid. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, why not this one? Our food donates blood packs in and in exchange to protect them. Agreed. Nice. Please Best outcome. Take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them and then return to me with their decision. Return to I thank me. Thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, <laughs> surely about blood Ian, packs. Tell me his decision. Proposal. He's going to marry to me. He's going to marry to me. <laughs> He's going to marry me. I think I'm headed to bed. It's getting real late. Good night, Riku. <laughs> you could eat red. Vance could eat red ridge meat like the rest of us. You peasants. Uh, Ian decided to leave the family. It saddens me to lose one of my flock. But <laughs> Thank I you, Riku. Everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. <laughs> Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. Just like in Fifty Shades of Grey. It's all educational. Yeah, he gave me schematics for that thing on his back. It's a really good weapon. That's like a sword that catches on fire. It's called a shish kebab. And I had I already had one of those schematics, so it made it more powerful. When I make one, it'll be like at 100% condition. Ooh. Yeah, this is the shop I was talking about before. I, I'd like raid this place all the time. I played early on. I still can. Wow. Just like the good old days. Steel and raccoon. Woo. Ooh, yeah. Give me that XP. Oh. Damn it. Yeah, it's really not fair to ask raccoon not to steal. They should understand who they're dealing with here. I'm sure they will once they notice all this stuff gone. Fine. I'll let them keep their pre-war money. I'm so surprised no one sees me. Most of the time there's a merchant guy who's here, of course. I think in the past when I used to steal all the stuff here, I'd always do it like while he's still here. Because he's like turned this way. <laughs> That's a sad effect. Ah! Spatula. Ooh. That one had a huge tolerance for how far the lockpicking worked. Oop. Yeah. <laughs> These even have blood packs in them. Whoa. Hey there, cutie. How's it hanging? That's a lot of goodies. I can exchange that for like stim packs at this one place. I told you. I bet you were mumbling about how you think Vance is all disappointed with your prog. Lots of loot. I'm still like the savior of the waste. Oh no. My stats finally went down. He usually has like a robe on if his if his karma is really good, my karma is the best. Ooh, all right. There's an easy way to juice up your karma, though. Just giving people outside of settlements bottles of water gives you like a ton of karma, disproportionately. So many things to loot here. Oh.
there's a bunch of people down here I haven't talked to yet, but I kind of want to progress the quest before I do that. I think I actually might just get to Arafu and like accept the next part of the quest and then call it a night. Bad karma flute, yeah. ASMR, 10 hours. God. Sounds like a plan. Cause it's getting late. I've been mostly playing, I mean I usually mostly play Fallout when it's a Fallout stream, but tonight I got the animal party segment of it done real quick. And also Maple was around and Maple got to uh, play duos with me in party animals. It was pretty fun. It's a fun time. Maple's the second person to be featured on Raccoon Pizza Party. Outside of co-host of Squaint Cast Saint. Timothy Chalamet stealing Riz <laughs> Yes, Rizzo's trip. <laughs> it's true. So yeah, it sounds like a good stream. <laughs> Scans through the stream to see that. That's so funny. I was yeah, I was I was losing it. I was so upset. We we're talking about Willy Wonka and like <laughs> fair chocolate practices, fair trade chocolate practices. And uh Willy Wonka came up and then Timothy Chalamet, you know, and then <laughs> it evolved into me being so upset because how how just blatantly he stole Rizzo's drip. There he is, the hero of the day. Woo. It's done, Evan. The family will never bother Erfu again. So yeah, I took care of the, your problem. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but, but God, God damn. damn, am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. <laughs> Let. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here anytime you're in this part of the wastes. Nice. Woo! Karma. Oh, that gave me a bunch. Oh, that just ended that part of the quest. I have a proposal for you from Vance, the family's leader. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. Yes. <laughs> I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. I did get to the... <laughs> did you get to your gear grinding video essay section or save that for Squaintcast? I, I have discussed that like twice even last stream and then I even alluded to it uh, or talked about it briefly during this stream <laughs> I think <laughs> I actually the first time I brought it up so this is the third time or no no this is the second time I, I guess third time actually but second stream is what I was trying to say um fuck <laughs> um when I first talked about it yesterday I actually like <laughs> I went to our discord dms and like I, re I read out like one of the things I said to you because I was like like going in circles like having a hard time saying like what what am I trying to say here about this fucking goddamn video essay and uh I read off part of the stuff that I was sending you just like how the, the thumbnail was pissing me off and how I was upset about specifically like the, the showing thing and then explaining the thing you showed even though it doesn't need explanation you know fuck it we're gonna talk about it a fourth time on Squadcast. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> uh, any, any help you can provide would be appreciated, sure. I've been saving up stuff Woo! for emergencies in case things with Arafu got tremendously. He's gonna give me a bunch of alcohol. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Yep, <laughs> I read that in the wiki when I was reading the stuff. Uh, any, oh yeah, right. You can ask him this, and I think each time will give you some alcohol. Sorry, the wells run. Oh, okay. No, he just gave me one vodka. Nice. Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you. Oh, wow. Hopefully more vodka. Let me just get less cucumbered. That's better. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'll probably start the next Fallout stream with the finishing the, the little quest. Because there's more to do with the Arafu people. You're just like playing messenger to to the two towns for a sec, just to uh, establish some sort of agreement. <coughs> but yeah, it's been lots of fun. I'm so glad the the rolling guest of chatters we had this evening. It's been very enjoyable. 
communicating with everyone and uh I had lots of fun playing the game and hanging out. Yeah. Yeah, sleep tight, Bingo. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good night. Sleep tight, Bingos. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, uh... Let me bring it up just for final context. We need to have... Not Yurki. I did actually bring up Yurki earlier in the stream. Oh god, we have to go through the... <laughs> have to go through all these again because I never decided to there we go <laughs> why did I bring him up again no the curse of T-Pain <laughs> masked singer T-Pain but yes sleep tight bingo <laughs> yay <laughs> thanks again night night bye bye